There are two main sources of funding that flow through the state back to our cities and towns. One is through what's called Chapter 70, our, our school aid, and one has a colorful name, UGA, which sounds morose, but it stands for Unrestricted General Government Aid. It used to be known as Lottery Aid. So UGA and Chapter 70, when we use those terms. And those are the two big ways that we flow about dollars back. There's other programs as well, but those are the two big ones. Uh, the Chapter 70 formula, again, I could probably put all of you to sleep if we talked about how the formula works um, or doesn't work for our communities. Um, the short version is that because of the particular, uh, particular way the calculations are made and because that many communities like Pembroke, like all the communities that I represent, Whitman Hanson and Duxbury, our student enrollments are fairly flat or in some, kind, some cases actually declining. And so what happens is that our Chapter 70 formula funds are essentially frozen and we're not getting any increases. And so the legislature has a calculation to ensure that we get at least a minimal increase every year, and it's called this per pupil increment. And uh, in past, uh, the governor's budget includes a number of $20 per pupil. So literally $20 times the number of pupils, and that gets added on to your Chapter 70 funds for the local school district. That's not a lot of money, uh, unfortunately. And so we are in, always trying to, like Sisyphus pushing up the boulder, always trying to get that number higher. And in past years, again, we've, you know, Matt has been a key part of this as well. He was kind enough to hand the microphone to me, but he has been really a leader on this as well. Uh, we've been trying to push that up. And so this year, we asked for, and again, we asked for $100 per pupil, not necessarily expecting, now hopefully no one's, this isn't going to get back to Jeff Sanchez, but uh, not expecting that we'd get that, but expecting and hoping that we would get a significant increase from where it is now. Uh, two years ago, we got it raised to $55 per pupil. And so, you know, that, you know, that a chunk of change can mean the difference between a teacher, you know, not getting laid off or being able to add. I know at Whitman Hanson, it meant they could keep a, a librarian at the middle school uh, two years ago. So it has a real impact. So that's one of the things we're fighting on. We obviously need a discussion about the, the bigger picture of Chapter 70 funding formula and how that works. And that's a battle that we have, as Vinny testified, not really Democrat-Republican. It's more urban-suburban where we have those kind of discussions. But while we're having that big macro discussion, we need to fund our schools every year, and this is one way we can help. So um, proud to help lead that effort. Thanks, Matt, for the question, and, and thank you all of you for, for helping support that.